Uh, Jerry, what I was saying before, as I set this up last time, is that they handed me, uh, you know, a, a textbook of instructions when I started this job. And the first thing was how to say your community right. It is the city of Orchard Lake Village. Is that correct? That, that is correct, David. So good morning to you. Uh, when we incorporated as a city back in the, the late 50s, they kept the little village quaint name uh, as part of our uh, title. So it is the city of Orchard Lake Village. That is the correct pronunciation. All right. Well, I like it. And you are the director of city services in Orchard Lake. Good to have you with us. You've always been a good friend and we're so delighted to have just a quick minute or two with you today. We'll check in again sure. with you in the coming days. But uh, big news going on. Anyone who's been driving up and down Orchard Lake uh, Road past your facility has seen dirt moving, construction going on and big things happening. I wanted to get by and get some pictures yesterday. Wasn't able to. But uh, bring people up to date. You're getting close to completion of this project. Project. If you could just tell people what you've been working on and, and how close you are to getting it all done. Yeah, sure will, David. So this is something that's been in the in the pipeline for about uh, probably about four to five years now. Uh, uh, basically, we started construction uh, last June uh, after soliciting uh, bids for a construction manager and a contractor, and we're almost to completion. So the project went very well. We did have some stumbling blocks like any project does. Uh, but uh, yes, we are getting very close to occupancy. And actually the Department of Public Works building, uh, they are currently relocating from the old building to the new building so we can move forward with the demolition of the old Department of Public Works building. So that building is about 99.% done, 99% done. The police department, uh, they're still doing some interior work. Uh, the exterior is pretty much complete. Uh, but they should be um, moving into their new space probably by the end of June. So uh, yeah, it's been a uh, it's been a, a short year, but a long year, and uh, we're very excited for the improvements uh, to the city hall property uh, and for our operations. Well, good to continue to have the investment of the people in your community to support these activities. I, I know you are um, thrilled about that. Um, even though you're not the biggest community in the state of Michigan, it's essential that you keep your services up to date. Um, and I'm sure the police department has not been renovated for a long time. And I know they're doing the same thing over in West Bloomfield. And I look over there as I walked through their building right before they started tearing things apart. You know, pretty old school and, you know, staffing has changed, technology has changed, use of these facilities, totally different than it was 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Yeah, and you're absolutely correct there, David. You know, the big thing about how this whole project got going was the uh, issue of the police department. Obviously, policing matters have changed over the years. Um, and uh, the the when the committee looked at this about five years ago, we looked at a Sally Port, which is a security area to bring detainees in for processing. We never had that before. We actually were bringing uh, detainees in uh, to the uh, office area along with the staff and stuff. Just not a very safe situation or secure situation. Again, with the, the way that the uh, police department operations in any department has changed, uh, security is of the of utmost important, not only for staff, but also for obviously for the police officers and for the detainee as well. So um, yeah, it's just a, it's a, it's a great improvement from a safety standpoint. We're very, very uh, uh, blessed that our, uh, our uh, citizens approved the 4.5 million bond for this project. The Department of Public Works building actually piggybacked on this police department addition uh, because obviously we're dealing with a very old building in the Department of Public Works. We have a lot of newer equipment that uh, cannot fit in the old building. So it was time to, to move forward. And uh, again, staff is very excited. Council is very excited about this. And uh, it's a overall a, a great enhancement of the City Hall building. Uh, this City Hall building was built, built in 85. So as you indicated, uh, obviously no updates have been done since that time. So we got to get up, get up to speed on the changing times. All so. right. Well, it's going to be great. But most of this will be done by the end of July. We will get over with our cameras, and and okay. I look forward. To, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd like to come on over, bring the cameras, and walk through every step of it, and uh, show people sure. exactly where their money has gone, and let them know about the new facilities. And then by the end of the July, hopefully, all this will be done. So if you don't mind, we'll, we'll come over and when when the time is right, and and walk through mm -hmm. it and share it with the community. 
You're more than welcome to, David, anytime. All right. And listen, before we go, you just happen to be sitting on one of the most spectacular pieces of property, too, <laughs> in all of the greater West Bloomfield area. That location right there overlooking Orchard Lake. It's got to be a yes. fun it's got to be a fun, uh, fun experience to go to work every day, Jerry. It is actually, you know, and I, I actually drive down Indian Trail every day uh, on my drive in here, David. And I, I'm every day I'm amazed by the beauty of, of uh, Orchard Lake and uh, of the city itself, Apple Island. Uh, it's just a gem of uh, for our community, and uh, you know, I've been here 23 years, and uh, uh, even even after the you know the 22nd year, I'm still finding new things and uh, new things to appreciate. So all right, well, we appreciate your enthusiasm. Thanks for joining us today. We got to run, Jerry McCallum. Okay. Good to have you with us. We'll see you soon. Thank you, David. Have a good day.